Hello everybody, my name is Bo, and this episode I'll be showing you how to make a watch folder in Keyboard Maestro. If you look over here, you'll see the learning objectives for this video. We'll be learning about the two actions for each and if then else, and we'll be talking about some time triggers, and along the way, we'll learn about some tokens. All right, let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you have your group selected, command N to make a new macro, and call it whatever you like. Click on the new action, and then make sure you have all actions and search for for each. Make sure you spell it right, for each, and then drag and drop that in. And then this is where you want to change our variable to temp because we're making a temporary temporary variable that is going to be only used in this action. Select in new collection, select folder contents collection. This is where we want to drag in our input folder. Just drag and drop it right in. And what do we do? What do we want to do with the files in our, our input folder? We want to move them. And then we can just drag and drop that in there as well. And this is where we want to enter our variable, our temp variable. And we can do that by going to edit insert token variable temp and if you do if you're inserting a lot of variables it would make sense to make a little snippet to type it in and then this is where you want to set our output folder just go ahead and drag and drop that in and give it a try so you can see that our files have now moved from our input to our output I'm going to put them back because now we're going to move just our text files and you can do that by adding a if then action if and then you can double click on it or drag and drip it in and then you want to drag our move to our first box here so if all the following are true it'll move our file if not it will do nothing and what's our condition or our rule it's going to be a variable condition a nice little variable condition so if our variable temp, type in temp, contains our text extension, you'll move the file. So let's give it a try. See how our input has um, these two text files? Give it a try. And now has moved into our output folder. And lastly, we want to set a trigger to have our computer monitor our watch folder for us. And that's where we want to make a new trigger. And if you select the first time trigger here, this action only executes this macro once a day, and we want it to check several times a day. So you want to do the while logged in trigger. And this is where you can select the days that you you want and the time um, the time to have this macro run. And you can also have the second set work as well. So we can do 15 seconds, the time now is 45. So we can do 45. All right, so wait a few seconds and you can see that it moves over. And there we go. Our two text files have moved into output folder. So that's how you make a watch folder in Keyboard Maestro.